how's it going everyone this is sean here with the scale model car guy channel and today's video is going to be this vintage goon sagno i don't even know how to say it japanese kit and uh george from that mofo damon was wanting to see an unboxing on this kit so i figured i would get it out and unbox it for him and this is the uh high tech model kit it comes with the uh, white metal parts and photo etched and it's a really cool kit but before i get going with that i want to thank all my subscribers all my new subscribers all my old subscribers if it wasn't for y'all i wouldn't have a channel and uh two uh i'm kind of behind on videos guys you know with this 48 hour group build going on i haven't been able to participate in that because my work schedule and everything going on but i am trying to keep up with it uh if i don't get to all of them at least i'll get to i'll try to get to your finals for sure guys uh craig from the mutt mauler puts that on and that's an awesome group build and he does it every year one of these days i'll get in on it but like i said with my work schedule and everything and everything going on i just have not had time i still got uh i still got me and seamus from see my bmw i still got our uh buddy bill going with the gt40s and uh he's got his done got it set aside and uh so i'm still working on mine and when when i get mine done we'll both uh do the reveal the finals on our uh gt40s but until then it's gonna be a little bit on me and uh tom justin uh as soon as i get more of my stuff in i'll get y'all's resin done for you and uh well with that being said george this is for you this is the Goons Sagno uh, 124 scale Fiat Abarth Assetto Corsa. And it's the high tech kit, as you can see here. There's the box. Let's see, let's see if there's any kind of a, a date on this. Uh. Oh, I'm not seeing a date here. Uh, I'm sure somebody can tell me in the description when this was from. But uh, that's it right there. Let me open this box up and show you what's going on in here. You got the instructions. I guess you got a uh, contents cardboard piece here. And it shows, I guess couple different paint schemes on it i guess that bluish gray version you could paint the top like that you know it's got the roundels to paint uh i guess just different ways to do it and uh what's cool about this kit here is the back deck lid acts as a spoiler and uh, you can see they race it with the uh, deck lid open and it gets more air to that air cooled engine I think that's only a two-cylinder engine right there. Very cool. You got your little front intercooler. Uh, just a really cool car. And here's the contents of it. If you don't see that, you got your white metal wheels, which I'm fixing to open this stuff up and show you. You got your little white metal engine I'll open up. And here's all your plastic sprues. You got photo etched. Uh, We'll get this thing opened up here, and we'll get to showing y'all what's going on. Uh, first, let me start out with the instructions. There it is right there. Try to get this in frame for you guys. Let's open this thing up. It's one of them that fold out right here like this. I don't know if y'all can see that very good or not. It's actually not got that many parts count. Well, you know, the car in real life is super small, so you know the model in 124 scale is going to be almost like building a 132 scale because it's so small, but but it, this is the, the layout of it and everything. You can see the metal engine. Uh, that's all white metal parts. It's got the wires to bend for it. I mean, it's just, it's just a real neat kit. You can see right there, it don't come with decals. It, it shows you to paint those on there. 
I paint the checkered. Believe it or not, I'm surprised this did not come with decals, which is which is kind of odd, but that is what it is. Start out here with the body. Look how small that is. I got one of these built. That's the stock version of the Goon Sanyo kit, and it's up there in a display case somewhere. Uh, and it's the version that's red on the box, stock version. And it was curbside. It didn't come with an engine, which this one does. And you can see you have to you have to cut out where the deck lid is right there. You have to cut it all out. Try and get you every angle of this car that you can. That way you can see it's got the sliding rag top there if you want that. Or you can just fill it in. However you want to do it. There's the body of that. Let's see here. Let's open this up so that you can get a better... I probably should have pre-planned this for you guys and opened it up. But ah, heck, what's the use? Let's just get it done. Alright. What we see here. That is your front air dam, if you can see that. And I'm not for sure what that is. It might go back there behind where the rear seat would. And these are your fender flares. You can see it's got the, the rivet detail in them. That's going to be very cool. Let's see here. I think that's all the white parts. So let's open this up and see the black parts, which will be your chassis. Looks like steering wheel and stuff like that. Let's open this up. No. Actually, that's... Is that black or gray? Actually, that's a gray. That's not black at all. That's molded in gray. There's excellent detail on the steering wheel, guys. You can see that. Very good detail there. This here, I know for a fact from building that other one, that is your seats that your seat set on, so your seat bracing or brackets or whatever you want to call it. And then here is the chassis, and it's not black. It looks black, but it's kind of a real dark gray. There's the bottom neath, neath and there's your, uh, oh, I guess your channel or a tunnel or whatever you want to call it, and your shifter. And your brake lever, and that would go right here. So there's that. Now here's your black parts. Let's see what's in here. Looks like the... Let's get this out, guys. I'm sorry. Pusher. And this is real rubber, too. This is rubber. This is for your... Your little sliding rag top right here, guys. See that right there? It's actual rubber. That is pretty neat. Then you got your one seat, and it's your racing seat. You can see there. Then you got right here, these are rubber Oh, uh, what do you call them? Little T handles to uh, hold down like the deck lid and the the trunk and stuff like that. Pretty cool. And then you got here, you got your tires, your rubber tires. It's got your tread on it. Well, them some itty bitty tires, guys. Itty bitty tires. Look at that. Itty bitty. All right. Let's move that out of the way. And then when you got your clear parts, and I'm not going to take that out. That's your, your glass, your headlights, and even your dash. Look at this. The dash is molded in clear. That's very odd, but hey, it'll work. Let's go over here. What little bit of chrome parts there are, and I'm going to leave those on there too. You can see, let's see, headlight buckets, looks like your 
back tail lights, door handles, and I'm guessing that you got two front fog lights or, or spot lights or whatever. I don't know what that one is right there, unless it's for rear rear spotlight. I really don't know what that is for without looking at the instructions right now. Then you got a sheet of photo etched. Got your windshield wa uh, wa wipers. You got your inner cooler grill and your uh, Barth badge badging. And that looks like a rear view mirror right there. So that's that. Let's see. Here's, looks like a couple of pins and metal rods. I'm not for sure. I guess the metal rod would be for the wheels or something and the pins for the wheels. I'm not sure what that one metal rod would be for. And then you got two different sizes of metal line right here. I know this one here, I think it's spark plug wires, but I'm not for sure what that one is without looking at it. And there's that. And then, let me open this up here so you can see the engine. Look at that cast, cast metal engine. Look at that oil sump. I guess that's the transaxle. Here's your rear suspension, like a rear A-arm. And you got two of those. There's the other one. Oh, this is nice right here. Look at those carburetors right there. Look at that. Big old Weber carburetor. I love that. Looks like the top of the cylinder head. And not for sure. Something to do with the engine. Not for sure what that is, guys. But when I put it all together, I'll find out. Move that over to the side. Let's see. What is this right here? Try to get these all out of here. All right. Look at that. Got your wheels. If you can see that real good or not. Get that camera to focus at your wheels. Looks like a leaf spring. Looks like your two cylinder, kind of like a motorcycle engine, your two cylinder head. Your exhaust. I guess this got to do with suspension or something here. Got two of those and your other three wheels. Very nice. And then we got this bag right here. And these are so small, I don't think I'm going to take them out, guys. Sorry. But I know for a fact this is like a Fiat. Right here, that's your... I think goes across the front end of your car. Somewhere right in there or whatever for your emblems. There's your fan pulleys, whatever. And that's engine parts and that's suspension parts. That looks like a... Look at there. That there... Is your distributor right there so that being said I think that's it guys that was a very quick one it's not got a lot of uh, parts but it is a very cool detailed kit for what it is and if you like what I'm doing please like share and subscribe George that mofo Damon y'all go subscribe to him he's a very good guy talented he's from Greece and he builds just about anything Thank you guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.